hello everyone my name is Kasim and in this video I will show you how to set up FTP account on Google Cloud platform this is the instance where my WordPress website is installed and this is the website for we need to create FTP account okay uh, in in the first step we will uh, create an FTP account and after that we need to change the file permission so why is that because Google does not allow us to update or edit any files it will generate an error so how we can fix it I will show you step by step so let's get started okay for creating an account you have to download putty and file the software open it and click on generate and move your cursor below the progress bar and it will generate public and private key okay this is the private key that we will use for google cloud ssh meta and this is the save private key option we need to download this it's saying if you want to use a password we I don't want to in your document or somewhere we will use uh, our rename it website name websites okay now we need to copy the from top to bottom control C and go to the instance in your compute engine go to metadata okay here ssh key options click on it and click on edit and paste the public key here save it okay now you need to open the filezilla go to the option edit then settings here is FTP and add key here private key that you earlier saved in the documents and that yeah that side private key it's all it's added no okay go back to put this software and copy this this is our username and for web hosting we will go back to our virtual machine and copy the IP external IP address see website name web resource here I will add host this is the host from there we need to select the SFTP not FTP protocol SFTP protocol and uh, here user you will select here 
copy this this is the user copy the user key and paste here and no need for password because we already added the private key in sftp option earlier now we need to connect okay here we are we are connected to instance google cloud instance now if you go to your root directory here you need to select the war and after that you need to select the ww and then the html folder you will see your website all files and directories this is the website directory after successfully connected to the server let's try to edit and update the file so we will go to the theme directory and we'll select one file and we'll edit it and we'll update it so I will pick a photo.php file download it let's open it and uh, we can change add a new class let's say add a new class update the file after saving okay you see the error here this is the permission error of this file so how we can fix this error let's move to the point two which is we need to connect to ssh command prompt let's move to and copy the first command this is the first command and the what will be the path to the file let's uh, get the file path that uh, we want to change the permission go to the file villa and let's say we want to change the permission of photo.php file so this is the path path of the file control c and here you need to paste control v and forward slash and after that put the file which status or permission do you want to change okay so, so it's footer dot php copy the file the first command will show us the current status of the file permission status so the first you will see here six double four it's at current status we need to change the status to seven 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 or seven double five whatever again you need to copy the same path and paste on second command which will help us to edit this file permission control v enter permission changed also we need to restore the purchase server so permission implemented all done if you want to check the current status after updating to triple seven scroll top and enter this is the current uh, file status or permission you it's a seven triple seven and this means you can edit or update the file now 
so let's open the file it's a photo.php and I've added the custom photo clause in the photo file control s and save the file and let's update the file is updated successfully so this is how you can change any file permission here and after the chain making changes you need to uh, put back the default permission as it was before okay so thank you for watching the video and if you like this video you need to subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos